Hello everyone, I'm Ray Simkin, I'm Chief Science Officer with Emerald, and I'm going to be explaining to you today our proof of concept wireless power transfer system. So this system operates at 5.8 gigahertz and it uses two phase array antennas to convert electricity into microwave energy. And then the transmitting antenna, which is at the far end, I'll show you that shortly, will transmit a beam, a highly collimated, very focused, highly directional beam towards the receiver, and that will convert that microwave beam back into electricity again. The distance between these antennas is 36 meters, and the antenna diameter is two meters by two meters. So the beam that's produced is designed to be very, very efficient and highly collimated. So it has an hourglass shape, it actually gets narrower in the middle, and it com confines that power to a diameter no bigger than the antennas. The antennas are two meters in diameter and that makes it very safe and very efficient. The amount of power that the receiver aperture receives from the transmitter is 95%. So it's a beam collection efficiency of 95%, and we know how to get that up to 99% quite easily. This is the transmitting antenna end of it. We take electricity from any source, we convert that into a microwave beam. And the antenna then forms that nice collimated tight beam. It's like pointing a flashlight between two places. Each tile has its own amplitude and phase control, its own amplifier system embedded. And so we can control each of those tiles individually to form that nice beam. Okay, so now we're at the receiving end, or the so-called rectenna, or rectifying antenna end. And this is a very similar antenna to the transmitter. It's a phased array consisting of discrete tiles. And each one receives microwave power beam and converts it back to electricity, to DC. And that system, uh, you can see here on the back, combined DC output is fed into a, an MPPT DC to DC converter, and then that power is uh, fed into a battery, we charge battery, and also into an inverter. So the inverter allows us to run conventional mains equipment. So now we're gonna switch the power beam on, and you should see the clock lights up shortly after. So that's being powered wirelessly 36 meters away. The other thing to note is on this display here. So we have the voltage, the current, and the power output. So on that right hand tab, that's 520, just over 500 watts of power being delivered wirelessly. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you.